Civil Engineering Academy. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we are solving a problem from structures. Problem states a beam is loaded and shown below. What is the maximum bending moment acting on the beam in foot pounds? So I encourage you to pause this and solve this on your own. If you're ready to go, let's do this. So what we've got here is a distributed load. Let's go ahead and solve for the reactions. I'm going to take 40 pounds per foot and multiply that by 20 feet, which is the length. And that gives me 800 pounds acting right dead center. 800 pounds. And by geometry, we know that each one of these is now 400 pounds. Okay, that's pretty simple. Next thing I need to do is draw the shear and bending moment diagrams. So let's just get these out right here. Bam, and we'll do this one too. Here is our shear, and here is our moment. So because this is a distributed load acting on the beam, I know that this shear diagram is going to be linear. It's not going to be constant. If it was just two reactions, it would be constant. It would be a, uh, just a flat line, no slope. But because this is a distributed load, we're going to have a slope, and it's going to be a negative slope because we're going down 40 pounds per foot as we march left to right along this beam. So we're going to start up here. It's basically going to look something like something like this. Okay. And what we've got here is we're starting up positive 400 pounds. That's the reaction at one. And we go down 40 pounds per foot. So at one foot, we've gone down 40 pounds. Okay, so this would be 360 at one foot. And two feet, you go down another 40 pounds. At 10 feet, which is the center of this thing, you know, center line, boom, boom, boom. At 10 feet, you would be down 40 times 10, which is 400, which is zero, which makes sense, right? We're crossing zero. And then it keeps marching down until you hit negative 400. And then it goes back up to zero because we have a reaction of two of a positive 400 pounds. Okay, so now that we've got that straightened out, you need to remember that the moment is an integration of the um, shear, which means that if we take the area under the shear curve, we'll find um, the max because the slope here crosses is zero right here. See, if we cross zero, that means this point is a, a minimum or a maximum on the moment curve. But because the slope is negative, I know that the moment diagram is positive. And because this is linear, you're dealing with an equation of a line that deals with just basically x. And the moment is an integration of that, which means you're dealing with an x squared, a parabola. Okay, so it's basically going to look like this. You hit a max, and it comes back down to zero. So we need to solve for this max, which I said is basically the area under the curve. So it's going to be this area under the shear diagram, which is a triangle. So all we need to do is solve for the area and that's going to be one half base the base which is 10 feet times the height the height of this is 400 feet or sorry 400 pounds what does that give me uh that gives me 55 and 5 times 400 that's 2000 foot pounds that is our max moment, which is A. So that was the, the quick way of solving these. You could do these um, by solving for uh, the equation of this line and then solving for the equation of this line and finding the max. That's another way of doing it, but uh, that's a lengthy way of doing it. And the way I'm doing it is a quick way, solving for the area under the, the curve. 
So I hope that helped you out. Head to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks related to the BE. Thanks, bye.